What's up, my wizards? It's Dev from SBMTG on the YouTube.com. We like magic, and today, as usual, I've got a deck tech for you, but twist. I'm only going to give myself three minutes to do it, so I can't waste time. Here's $15 blue-white artifacts. Now, first, I'll show you the two big reasons to build the deck in the first place, Gear Seeker Serpent and Metalwork Colossus, both of which we're playing play sets of. Now, this is very much an example of top-down deck design because every card in the deck, basically, is devoted to playing these guys on turn four or five at the latest. Gear Seeker can run in unblocked to win the game, and Colossus can just keep coming at them until it eventually stomps their head in. And activating its recursion ability is stupid easy considering we're playing 32 cards that either are artifacts or produce artifacts. But what artifacts do we play? Well, I think it's only natural that we prioritize ramp here because it'll effectively count more towards lowering the cost of our two fatties than other artifacts would. So let's play four copies of Hedron Crawler, two Corrupted Graphstone, three Cultivator's Caravan, and four Hedron Archive. Now we want to play either a Cultivator's Caravan or even a Hedron Archive by turn three but that'll virtually guarantee a big monster by turn four. I should also point out that Cultivator's Caravan is pretty big if you can crew it, so there's that. And speaking of crewing Caravan, we're going to play four copies of Foundry Inspector to further reduce costs, be a body on the ground, and also crew the Caravan, so there's that. Um, and we're also going to play a number of cards that generate tokens, so let me show you those. We're going to play four copies of Thraben Inspector, four copies of Cog Wiz uh, Cogweaver's Puzzle Knot, and two copies of Servo Exhibition. Now, while these tokens do decrease the cost of Gear Circus Servant, they don't decrease the cost of Colossus. But the good news here is that tokens do give you something you can sacrifice to get the Colossus back without increasing his casting cost. Inspector gives us a way to draw cards and the servo producers put creatures on the ground to block or maybe pilot caravan and Puzzle Knot is especially good here because it helps cast either one of our big dudes more easily. And the lands in the deck, pretty easy here, Inventor's Fair, no-brainer inclusion. Other than that, throws the blue-white taplin in there and then some basics, and I've already spent too long in the mana base. The sideboard here, we've got Ceremonious Rejection and Fragmentize against other vehicles, um, or other artifacts, specifically vehicles. Um, and, you know, whatever, Aetherworks Marvel, Panharmonicon, a lot of that in the format right now. And Rejection also helps against Eldrazi, so there's that. Negate is good against Planeswalkers and Removal. Imprisoned in the Moon is good against uh, pretty much anything. And Planar Outburst could make the main deck because... Against aggro, we're not so great, and we can wipe the board and get our Colossus back fairly easily. So Planar Outburst is pretty darn good. And here's your power rankings right here. A final score of 56, and we're good in synergy and consistency and not much else, but we don't care because we're having a lot of fun. We're casting huge things by turn 4 or 5, and we're playing all these artifacts, and it's really cool, and it's a lot of fun. And it's only going to cost you about $15 at the end of the day and a couple extra bucks for the board, so not bad. Let me know how you felt about it down there. If you enjoyed the deck tech, hit the like button, and uh, subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys later. I'm Dev from SBMTG. Thanks for watching, my wizards. Three minutes. Nailed it.